Hi, this is Laura Chappell, and I'm going to answer the question, Laura, how the do I alter trace file timestamps? Let's look at my, why you might want to do this. Let's say you have two analyzers set up. One is listening to traffic to and from a client. One is listening to traffic to and from the server. But when you look at those two analyzers that you set up, you find out that the time sync on the analyzer connected to the server switch is off. It's fast by 0.052 seconds. So we want to take the server.pcap file and we want to subtract 0.052 seconds from every packet in that trace file. We're over at the DOS prompt right now and this is the directory structure. We have just simply the client pcap file and the server pcap file. We're going to use the edit cap application. Edit cap comes with Wireshark. If you look at edit cap here you will see under packet manipulation we have a parameter dash t for time adjustment. These parameters are case sensitive so if you do a dash capital T you're going to be changing the encapsulation type. The dash t time adjustment will change it in relative seconds so if we wanted to subtract a half a second from, from every packet in the trace file we would do a dash 0 0.5 as our parameter. In this case we want to subtract 0 0.052 from our trace file. Let's take a look at the trace file before we do that. I'm going to open up the server.pcap trace file and in the very first packet I'll look at this timestamp value. We're going to be affecting the microseconds value down here so we'll pay attention to the 0.523748 value. Now I'll go back over to the DOS prompt and we will type in edit cap dash t. We're going to subtract 0 0.052 seconds from server.pcap and we'll call the new file server dash 052.pcap. Now we can see we have our server dash 052pcap file. We want to compare the two trace files and make sure that we actually do see a change. I'm going to open up a second instance of Wireshark. Now this instance, I want to have them side by side, so I'm going to bring this other version down. Now I've got two versions of Wireshark running at the same time, two instances running. In the second one I'm going to open up the server-052 trace file. Here we go. Now when I'm running them side by side like this, I do want sometimes to make one trace file stand out so I can tell the difference. So I'm going to go into my coloring rules and I have a color called the or a coloring rule called the butt ugly color. And right now any BGP traffic would show up in that butt ugly color. I want all the traffic in that second trace file though to show up and it's all TCP traffic. So I'm going to temporarily just apply this butt ugly color to all TCP communications. Okay, so all of this is the altered trace file, the server-052 trace file. In the first trace file, I can see the timestamp value, and in the second trace file, I'm looking at the timestamp value right here, 0.523748, and we have 0.471748. So we can see that we've subtracted our 0 0.052 seconds from each one of the packets in the second trace file. For more training, you can check out www.wiresharku.com.